Hey guys, uh, happy Friday. Beautiful, hot day here in South Dakota. I'll get ready to have some family over. Um, listen, I want to start the weekend off with a, with a short video. I want to clarify something I've been saying a lot. I've been saying and making the statement, take your power back or remain in your power. And I want to clarify a little bit what I mean by that. All of us know in this life, especially this day and age, there are so many distractions around us all the time. Our jobs, our relationships, technology, entertainment, just everything going on constantly. All of those things have the capacity to pull us out of the present moment and to make us, um, and what I mean by that is how many of us have been in a restaurant and you look over and you see an entire family and everybody's on their phone. You all came together to sit at this restaurant and share time with each other, which is really one of the most critical things we do as humans, and you all are stealing and lying to each other and you're not there with each other at all. You're totally focused on, on what's going on on Facebook or social media. You're not in that moment. I'm not saying that to scold anybody, my goodness. I'm so guilty of that all the time. You know, whether it's raising our kids or bringing them to the park or or we're at a family dinner or we're supposed to be talking to a coworker or a loved one and we're on our phones. We're not in the present moment. There's something so powerful about staying in that moment. Here's the transition into traumas and how traumas can affect us. Uh, I think we as humans think in a very traumatic way about time and it completely eliminates us, us of staying in the now moment and staying in our power and being present and actually enjoying the life that we have. Here's what I mean by that. We know the continuum of time, past, present, future. In times in my life that I've been living in the past, I've been reminiscing and living out old pains. Anybody who's being robbed of the now moment by thinking and contemplating and judging yourself over past things that either happened to you or that you've done, doesn't, it does nothing but steal the power of the present moment. It's okay to have gone through things. It's okay to have done things, but it's in the past. It's gone. It doesn't exist. And it completely eliminates your ability to stay present in what's going on. If you're living in the past, you're living in pain. And here's the other thought I have. This is what related to me. When I was living in the past and I was never in the present moment, guilty about this, don't feel good about that, it's, it's painful. And it totally steals from the present moment. The future is nothing more than worry and fear. When you're living in the future and you're not in the now moment, oh, my life will be complete once I have that relationship, once I have that property, or once I have this, or once I achieve that. And you're always chasing this dangling carrot. And it's super unhealthy. The reason it's unhealthy is because it's an illusion of control. You're making yourself think that you can control what doesn't exist yet, and it pulls you out of the moment. And why is it so important and why is it so powerful to be in the present moment? Because there's gratitude, there's thankfulness, there's calmness, and there's peace in the present moment. The past is filled with pain and it hurts and there's things that need to be dealt with there and I would highly encourage people to do that kind of shadow work. And the future is full of fear of the things that you don't have or that you're worried if you'll ever arrive there. And it's robbed, both of those scenarios are robbing you just like all of these other objects in our lives. And they're not allowing you to be present in the moment. And the reason that being present in the moment is so powerful is because you can be grateful. You can have gratitude. I would guess that 95% of the people that will probably see this video, if not all of them, are you much further along than you were 10 years ago? I remember when, it, when I was a young kid, like, oh man, will I ever get married? I've been married 15 years. Will I ever own a house? I own a house. You know, it's, these things come in time when we do the work that needs to be done. And 
I would say that that's really to me the secret and the power in being in the present moment is that you can be full of gratitude and you can be full of, of uh, thankfulness. And that goes a long way in your life. When you're just thankful that you're breathing and that you're able to move your body and you're able to use this amazing temple that we've been given, this vessel, it changes everything. You're no longer worried about all the silliness and all the things that used to distract you that you thought were important. So anyway, short video to start off the weekend. Uh, much love, everybody, and more stuff to come probably in the next couple nights. All right, enjoy your Friday, enjoy your weekend.